What's going on guys? Today we're going to create a website for a hypothetical client using a free Webflow template and customizing it to fit this hypothetical client. This hypothetical client will be a wine bar and creating this website could be good practice and a good addition to your portfolio for landing an actual wine bar project or something similar. So let's get into it. We'll start off in our Webflow workspace here. If you don't have one, you can create an account with Webflow and follow along, or just sit back and take a look at how awesome Webflow is. We'll click this new site button. We have different templates here. We'll go to the free templates and click view all. And then we'll look for a simple site. Um, we only need like a home page, an about page, and a contact page. Um, but it'd be nice to find something that looks like it could work for a uh, wine bar already so we don't have to change like everything um, but let's see what we got here so this was this looks like a kind of basic business site and we could you know remove some pages Don't really need these icons. We could switch those out. Got some more, if some kind of placeholder text. Images we can switch out. I like this section for sure. So this has definitely got potential. Change this color probably. Could use this. Uh, we could remove this section, probably, and so that has potential. And this one looks good as well. And we already got like white and red, so that looks great. Let's switch out this image. Yeah, the white and red. You could change these up. Nice. This is useful. Show like uh, some line stuff, a little bit of text. We could remove this section. So this is e-commerce. We can just get rid of the cart and this section. Home about contact looking good. Let me switch out this image. This kind of big section. I guess this is the kind of the footer. Email, address, phone, that could work. I like this one. Can remove that section. Yeah, let's go with this one. So to use it, um, instead of opening it in a new tab like that and click on the actual template itself and then again you can preview it in the browser or you can even preview it in the designer that's where you edit the site um, let's go ahead and use this one um, create site Andrew's stupendous site that sounds awesome go with that for now because I will use ChatGPT for coming up with a name for this hypothetical wine bar. And I'll also use ChatGPT to come up with like a tagline for it. And, you know, text throughout the site we could probably get from that too, for sure. So right off the bat, let's go ahead and get rid of the kind of extra pages there. And click up here the shop page we do not need that this uh, hypothetical wine bar isn't uh, selling bottles of wine on the internet yet <laughs> uh, image license info change log don't know what these pages are but they we don't need those on our site so we got home about us and contact 
click here to edit the navigation. We'll get rid of this link and we will get rid of this link. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, we will fix this image, get some wine in there. It'll really uh, set the look and feel. And for that, I will go to Unsplash Wine Bottle. Let's just go with wine. This looks really good. A lot of potentials here. I'm seeing some like portrait and some landscape. I like that a lot. Um, I really like this one. Let's go with this one. And then, so this is the hero image. Let's remove that. This is the background image of this div, is how they're doing it. So we will just switch that out. Click the center there. Let's pick an image. Awesome. Go to size cover here. And then this is super landscape with the uh, dimensions there. So let's go out of that. And with this div, we have a width of a thousand. Let's cut that in half. And we want more height than width. Let's say 650, maybe 700. All right. There we go. Um, we have this margin left. Let's see what happens when you get rid of that. Okay, liking that. Um, Alignment, let's align to the right. Nice, lined up with the navigation there. Looking great. And then if we go to a smaller breakpoint, okay, we get a layout shift. Um, I think I'm just gonna get rid of this button. This is gonna be just for like a simple Kind of wine bar, top padding, we get rid of that. Well, maybe I do want some kind of space there. I'm just gonna start changing stuff. It's so easy in Webflow. Um, this image is huge. Let's try 50%, I'm on the wrong thing. <laughs> Select this image here, there we go. I did Command Z there to undo that. We can go a little wider than that. And actually I'm going to center this. So at this breakpoint, we'll change the margin to auto on both sides, centering that. Looking good. This image is still huge. Let's change the height to 400 pixels. Maybe not. Oh, it's back on this custom. Let's switch that to cover. Let's 
Let's do 50%. Okay. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and change this text real quick. Unique wines. And sh oh, I'm gonna keep that text black. Kind of took over that font style, so that's why I did that. And then we'll use ChatGPT to get a the name of the bar and the tagline. So this is looking good at this breakpoint. Let's see, here we'll do I don't know why it's going to this custom and not the cover here when I change breakpoints but here we are I think that's fine right there just keep it at the even 400 and then last break point let me guess I'm gonna have to change this again cover and now we'll make the width a hundred percent it's wrong mobile bring up the height Four hundred's looking pretty good. Let's see what four fifty looks like. Solid. I like four hundred better. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Now let's get a name of this bar. Go to our friend ChatGPT here say wine bar names nice I like the uh, Merlot Meadows so we'll say Merlot Meadows and we'll also you like a little logo for up here and this you can make like a tagline. So we'll say tagline for Merlot Meadows. Discover the delight in every pour. That sounds great. And it will go good with that picture. So I'm going to copy that. Looks like I have it in bold. Uh, sure, that'll work. And now let's get a logo for our hypothetical wine bar. Meadows. Enter your slogan. No, thank you. Is this one a uh, bare bones logo here? I'm going to do grayscale just because I want kind of like a dark logo similar to that on this white background. I guess red would work too. So he has some pre-selected, modern, classy, vintage, looks great. 
wine bottle glass grapes these words will help us find the right icons we might not want icons but we'll try it okay we have a baby bottle here i don't know what kind of wine bar this is I like this simple one without this weird cup. It's like not even a wine glass. That looks good, but I would like a white background. This will work. I don't think it's gonna let me like download this unless I make an account or whatnot. So I'm gonna Steal it. <laughs> gonna steal it. I'm gonna take a screenshot and just use that. So back on navigation. Get rid of the heading, select the brand. Background, choose image. With hundred pixels, hundred and fifty pixels it's kind of gray and kind of hard to see See, not much of a logo, but let's try this one. It's at least black text on white. Take a screenshot. Go back to this brand link. Delete. Choose image, upload. Once again, set it to cover and center. Looks like we gotta make it a little wider. Sure, that'll work for now. We got this breakpoint. Thinking here is a little too close to the edge. Maybe something like that. Looks better. That's looking good. Looking good and looking great. So I'll stop there for now, but the rest would be changed in a similar fashion. I'll make a couple follow-up videos where we update the rest of the template. I'll also make a video on how to get paid from a client, so stay tuned. If you like this video, please give it a like, drop a comment and say what's up, and thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Check it, check it.